Recording in progress. Okay, you guys, we have uh, Coach Wilcox here. We'll go ahead and get started. Uh, questions in the room, please, first. Ask for the mic, and we'll bring you a mic. Justin, can you uh, just describe what you saw when uh, the sermon picked up the fumble, the second fumble on the same play, and was off to the races? Uh, well, it was across the field, so you're kind of looking through a mass of bodies from my vantage point, and you saw the ball come out, and I think somebody had a chance to swipe it up, and then it came out again, and Jack picked it up, and he was off to the races. And uh, I mean, biggest play of the game. I think we, were, we would all agree, a huge play and finding a way. And you know, that's a veteran player, you know, one of the, your best players on the team. That's, that's what you're looking for, and he delivered. And Daniel Scott, again, another huge play. And then Jaden, you can kind of go down the list, but there were some big, you know, there's moments when you need somebody to make a play, and that was as big as any. And when, when he came to you guys this year, you knew he was a really good player. Are these the kind of moments that you hope you get from a guy like that? Yep, absolutely. And I, th I would just say he, he expects that from himself, you know. I think uh, guys that have played a lot, Daniel, him, you know, a couple of those guys on O, uh, you know, they, they expect him to make the routine plays every time and then the big plays – you know, as often as possible. But they're, those are the ones because, you know, in, in a game like this, when you play good football teams, you're going to need some one-on-one uh, -on -one wins, whether it's a pass rush, whether it's uh, Jeremiah Irby making a couple big stops, man-to-man -man, when you don't have help, you know. And same thing on offense. You're going to have to make some, you know, get some one-on-one -on -one wins uh, to win football games. And, you know, Jack, Jack made a, a really big one. To what degree does this – save the season, so to speak? Well, I don't know if I look at it like that. We, we know how important this game is for us as a team, the individuals in this room, uh, in the locker room, and our administration and support staff. Um, and then, I mean, as evidenced by the turnout, our fans were incredible. I mean, what an awesome environment. You know, what we need to do is keep improving and getting better and better. And, you know, we want the big game, obviously, to to look like that each year, but we also want, you know, the other games, and we got to do our part as a football team to draw people here. And uh, but man, our fans and the students were just incredible tonight. And you know, fortunately, got to be on the field uh, post game for a couple of these now, and and just just to see the the joy in their faces, uh, our team, the players, the people that work here and play here, but also just the fans and the students. I mean, it is pure joy that you see on those faces uh, after the big game. So that is one of my favorite things to do is just stand there and watch them. I, just, I was going to ask you to compare winning the big game is great, whether it's here or yeah. at Stanford. Is there any difference about winning it here? And Cal had not won it here in quite some time. Yeah, so yeah, it's always great to win at home. I didn't realize it was 2008 until somebody told me early this week, you know, brought it up maybe in our phone call that we have on Tuesday. But uh, yeah, I mean, it does feel good, you know, home crowd. And obviously they'll have a, they'll travel well just across the bay, but having our, on our home field, that feels really, really good. And I, it's hard to rank them, you know, they're all uh, equally uh, emotional and uh, the teams are different, the dynamics are different, the seasons are different, but man, it, it's as good a feeling as there is. Justin, it's been a while since uh, you guys were able to get Jay not going and he, I think he had no yards at halftime rushing. Mm -hmm. And then he had 97 in the second half. Can you just talk about him hanging in there and, and how he did that and, and maybe if he got some help up front? He did. Um, <clears throat> we had some things specifically, you know, in the game plan just to make sure that he touched the ball. And we wanted to make sure that Jaden got the ball a certain number of times. And uh, we were a little behind, uh, you know, in the first half on getting him touches. And uh, that, there were reasons for that. We knew they would play us in some heavy run boxes, uh, or we anticipated, we didn't know, I guess we anticipated them playing us in some heavy run boxes. And so uh, we got some pretty good matchups um, on the perimeter to get the ball out and get some yards going, but we still needed to get Jaden the ball. And so he got it going in the second half. The O-line um, made some really good plays. You know, unfortunately, we kind of stubbed our toe a few times, whether it was a penalty, we had a a false start penalty, uh, a 15-yard variety penalty as we were deep kind of de or in the red zone there. 
uh, that hurt us, you know, and we had a, obviously the two red zone turnovers were, were rough, uh, but, you know, the guys kept playing through that, and uh, uh, I really credit to them, you know, never flinched and just kept playing and playing, and then Jaden got going as we know he can, and everybody doing their part. Kind of following up on that, how did the game planning and game calling go today yeah. and during the week? Yeah. And I'm not a smart guy, but I know Stanford had been gouged running the teams running the ball the past three weeks, and you guys really didn't run the ball very much in the first half. Yeah, and we, we were wanting to. There was just some things that we wanted to test early uh, in, in terms of getting – we thought – you know, some of our matchups on the perimeter were going to be very good. We also knew that Jaden needed to get the ball and we needed to run it. And so uh, we talked at halftime, you know, some of that in the first half, again, whether it was by down and distance or a kind of a uh, something that upset the drive, a, a, a negative play where you kind of got out of a, a friendly down uh, to run some of the stuff we wanted to run with Jaden. Uh, we got him loose a couple times on the on the rail routes. Um, so there's another way to get it to them. But we, we definitely did talk at halftime about getting some runs called to run the ball. And uh, again, credit to all the offensive staff. Those guys did such a fantastic job. They're a selfless group. They're uh, extremely prideful and hardworking. They did a great job uh, you know, this week putting it all together. And we'll, all of us can, can learn and be better. Um, and coaches and, and players alike, there were some things that we got to clean up. but. We certainly wanted to get him the ball even more in the second half. And follow up, if you can say, was there, you know, was it a collaborative effort? Yeah. Was there one guy though who kind of had final say? Obviously, you. Or yeah, I guess ultimately I do, uh, but I. Everybody had their piece of it, and uh, I'm really just appreciative of how those guys uh, worked this week and and were communicative, and not only during the week but on game day today, and um, just great people and who care a great deal about uh, the team. And uh, I just, I, I think they all share in that and thankful for, for, for what they did. Did you so make, you're not gonna, so you're not gonna tell us who was actually calling the play? It was Kyle. <laughs> <laughs> that was the first half. Yeah, yeah, right, yeah. the backwards plays were Kyle. So I guess the answer is no. Yeah. Did, did you do a lot of things differently or did you just tweak things? Really? Yeah, there's, I, I wouldn't say you're just going to start from scratch, you know. Um, there were certain, you know, matchups that we wanted to kind of uh, try to take advantage of. You know, we, we really felt like we wanted to distribute the ball to, obviously I talked about Jaden, but we really want to make sure Maven and J. Michael and Jeremiah got chances uh, either quick game or down the field. We wanted to make sure we got some balls launched, and uh, we did. We had, you know, and I think we had a, and they would tell, they would say the same. I mean, there's too many drops. I mean, we probably had, I don't know, half a dozen or, or so drop balls that hurt us on some drives. Um, they also made some really good plays. So if we can eliminate, you know, or really shrink that drop ball number. I also think Jack did some really good things. We got to clean up the red zone for, I think those, I think they were both first downs, um, the the interceptions. So just those things can really change the course of how the offense performs, you know, because if you can, I think we had the ball and we're moving it. In the first half, I think we were down in their territory five times or so. We only ended up with six points. So we got to do a better job when we get down there, just putting the ball in the end zone. And it's easier said than done, but it's decision making. It's catching the ball. It's not committing a penalty. Um, so we certainly feel like we got to play better. Um, yeah, all around. Uh, looking ahead, coach. Yeah. Looking, looking ahead, coach. Um, you got a short week ahead of you. How are you going to try? How are you going to take this momentum into UCLA? Yeah, just uh, get some sleep and start tomorrow. Yeah. Short week. We move everything up a, a day. We had just practiced a, a, a little bit because you're playing a one day earlier, so we got to take that into account. Um, but. Yeah, we'll, we'll go to sleep and wake up and uh, start our preparation for UCLA. I want these guys to enjoy it, and we do have a quick turnaround. And I know they'll come in we, I think tomorrow afternoon. We'll, we'll have a team meeting and get some film watched and get on the practice field for some work. Okay, anybody else? Final question? Right. Okay. Thank you. Great. Thank you. Recording stopped. Okay, we've got four, about four players.